Good day, my beautiful people. Welcome to Ozzy Spice. Thank you, people that is subscribing to this channel. Welcome you all newcomers to my channel. Today we are discussing about if you are not ready for marriage, why are you dating? Why are you dating if you are not ready for marriage? Are you looking for somebody to break their heart? Are you looking for somebody to destroy their life? If you're not ready for marriage, why are you dating? You are dating for fun? Go and look for job. Go and look go go for a swimming course. Go and look for dog. Why are you dating? If you're not ready for marriage, go for swimming course. If you are looking for a phone, look for another type of phone, not marriage. Marriage is an institution God has ordained for two people. My single ladies. And my single ladies, all oh my single ladies, if you are dating, those things that a married man gets during during marriage stop giving it to them stop washing their clothes stop cooking for them stop giving themselves reduce all these things or even though if you don't have self-control ask god to give you self-control tell him you have to he have to define what you are doing how to define you for doing after marriage then you can give it you can you can give him all these things and if you are dating you want to go and visit him go with a, a, a your sister not with a friend i will not say a friend so they will not snatch the man from you let the man define what you are doing he said you are dating one year two years he have not engaged you what do is what is this man studying? The men they are very very tricky, trickish. What is he studying? You say he's studying. You still looking at the back to see if you find another person. What is he studying? If you deal with somebody one year two, you're supposed to know the somebody. It's supposed to know the person's character. If he's the right person for you to live with or not. My single ladies, reduce all these things. And if you are dating, if you are dating with you are with a man is only interested in sex, 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 your body, your body, please run away from that man. Run for your life. If a man is interested in you, you have to be thinking of your future. You have to think of your progress. How are you going to progress the next two, three years? How are you go how the man will be we will be supposed to be discussing how how am I going to live my entire life with this person? Not only sell, 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 sell your beautiful boy, your boobs, your this, it's not for marriage. Sex is not, not everything you need in marriage. Sex is just the, the, the addition of marriage. You reduce all these things so that he will engage to you. And try to engage this man, try to yourself to engage this man in, in the future, future, future. Not sell, 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 sell. this will never bring anything for you. Such man that's interested in sex, your booze, your dizzy, run my sister, run away from such men, they're not good for dating. But any man that is caring, sharing, is always asking, is, is, is interested in your progress, your future. That man, stick to that man. The man is discussing his future for with you, stick to that man. That's a good husband. The man trusts you no matter anything. Stay to that man. And my brothers, men and men have sweet mouths. They can call you all sorts of beautiful names so that they will get what they want. <laughs> if you're a person that has insecurity, insecure, insecure, please ask God to help you. Always in the morning, wake up, look at the mirror, say, I am wonderfully and beautifully made. Try to do your hair, wash if it's one clothes, so wash it, iron, dress good. Tell yourself, I, I am beautiful. If you don't love yourself, who will love you? 
If you don't love yourself, who will love you? Tell me, who will love you? Don't stop looking at another person to tell you that you are beautiful and you are wonderful. Those things, that's why some of us fall. Men tell us, men, the house sweet man, they want to get sex. They will tell you all beautiful, all the beautiful names in this world. Call them. They will, it will appear. They will tell you, and you fall for it. And after you giving it to them, you start regretting why they do such thing. Oh, my beautiful ladies. If you want a man to marry you, see what all the things you have to do. Stop giving him sex. Stop washing his clothes. If you people want to meet, not in his house, maybe if you're going to his house, look for a sister to to follow you with so that there will not be a scenario of sex to happen. And let that man define what you are doing. If let that man, you yourself have to engage the man in what you are doing, if he's serious with you or not. Let him tell you. If the man is serious with you in what you are doing, let him tell you. Let you engage in future progress. How you going to progress the next two years? How you going to pro how how is the marriage going to look like? How many children do you people want to have? How are you going to how is the life going to be? That's what you'll be thinking. Marriage, sex, marriage is just is is, is not a no. It's not to know. If you enter into marriage, my sisters, make sure you have your job. You are earning your own money, you have respect. You are equipped. All these things. So will not be depending on men. Try to work hard and achieve something for yourself before you get into marriage. Because if you are working, you are getting your own money, or you have respect. Men, they love when their wife are working. So that you can be able to provide money for your buy money for your hair, buy clothes for yourself, buy underwear for yourself. You not be depending on man. Man, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. Some men, they will not tell, but they hate it. And some like when their wives are working. If we are dating, define tell as a man, define this relationship we are into. If you are going to marry me or not, and if you, and if you, if it's a man always. Is in, is interested in your body, wrong, wrong. But this the man is always discussing about you, put future, how you are going to progress the next two years. What is the man is going to look like? How you are discussing? Stay that one is going to about always in the topic. What is the topic of the? What is the to, what is the topic if people are together? Is it only your boots, your busy sex, different women? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Such man is not. A husband material they are looking for somebody to break their heart and we ladies we invest too much in when we are dating sometimes we invest a lot money they call it time call anything you want in that you invest everything even your life into it so when the man says you don't want you don't want you want to kill yourself don't invest too much if you are dating is when you married then you can invest. If you get married, then you can invest in a man or invest in anything concerning that man. Not when you are dating, invest your money, invest your time, in everything about to invest. Even if you don't have time for yourself, when you are dating, everything about the man, the man, the man, the man, the man, the man. When the man says, I don't want you again, oh, that means heartbreak. My single ladies, learn your lessons now. Learn your lessons now. Before you say they have broke my heart. Learn your lessons now. These things I told you, I said now. So cooking for him. So washing his clothes. So as much as especially things. Don't give him sense. All these things I said. Don't do it. All this all these things somebody enjoy when you are married. Reduce it. So that he will engage you. And make sure the man is always discussing future, future, not success, 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 your body, your boots, this, such man run for it, run for your life. Or is the man always discuss about progress, how you're going to progress, how you're going to progress the next two years, how the life is going to look, look like after you get married, stick to that man.
That's how I know he's a, he's a good husband. Stick to the man. Stick to the man. Stick to that man. I have married for 20 years. What I have learned now. Oh, that's why I don't that's why I open a YouTube channel. I'll be telling you people so that you people cannot be a victim of of stupid men that want to destroy innocent beautiful ladies. We have good we have good men. Look for all these things are these are secrets. This is a man that's always discussed about sex, your body, your boots, your this one. The topic can't have people sit down. That's the topic you want to raise. Even you are calling for that. If it's a man always interested in your progress, how are you going to progress the next year? A man that is caring, a man that trusts you, whatever thing you do, a man that does not have any anything to sense comes after all these things. I'm telling you, after the back, after marriage is not easy. Marriage is not a bed of roses. How we are seeing it, it's not how, how. But see, I would say, why is it the marriage of uneducated couples last long than educated couples? I don't know. Maybe they don't know their right. If you see, they, they, somebody just get married. See, two, the two is a mood. They, they, they say, I, I don't want, I want to divorce. I don't want, I want to divorce. I don't want, because it's not easy. Before you get into it, go for marriage counseling. Read books. Look, study anything about marriage. It's not easy because two, two of you are two different peoples coming together to live. This one have another character. This one have another character. You have to join your character together to live with the person. It's not easy. And if you are living with someone, try to learn their character. It's very, very important. Like, learn what they like and what they dislike to help you in life. That's what I help me. Men. May God bless our men. Let them be serious with our innocent single ladies that want to get married. Keep on subscribing to this, my channel. May God bless you all. May God impart you all with wisdom and understanding. God said, ask of wisdom and understanding shall be given to you. May God impart you wisdom and understanding. May God give you your heart desire. May God provide you a man that is ready to marry, not a man that wants to waste you. I pray good things will come on your way in the mighty name of Jesus. And we people that is married, I pray that God will give us strength to stay in marriage. Because institution, this institution comma is not easy. But the grace of God will see us through. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.